Olá, seja bem-vindo ao canal do Saber Psi. Eu estou aqui com uma convidada super especial. Eu estou em Solvang, na Califórnia, com a Felícia Carroll, que gentilmente aceitou o meu convite para falar um pouco com vocês sobre é, como a neuro, neurologia, a neurobiologia pode estar junto da gestalt terapia. Então, ela vai falar um pouquinho para vocês. Hi, Felicia. Thank you to be here. Thank you, Elena. To receive me yes. in your space. Oh, and I'm looking forward to being in your space. Ah, let's yeah. go. Yeah. And I would like to know something, if you can talk something about neurobiology mm. and gestalt therapy, because mm. you are um, uh, uh, speaking a lot about that. Mm -hmm. so, and in Brazil, I think we need to know a little about that. Okay, okay. <clears throat> you know, one of the things I might say is there's such an emphasis, I don't know how it is in Brazil, but in the United States, uh, when I hear across the world, there's a real emphasis on evidence-based therapy. Mm -hmm. You know, everyone is, you know, and, and uh, I think that one of the things as gestalt therapists, oftentimes we don't recognize the science of, mm -hmm. of our of the origins of gestalt therapy, the science in gestalt psychology as well as in the organismic paradigm. And um, I think today's science of neuroscience and neurobiology is um, confirming everything of the science that we grounded ourselves on, including the philosophy of today and, and um, say, for instance, in complex uh, theory, um, complex, complex systems theory. There's, so, there's a richness of what is occurring now in the 21st century in terms of the science and philosophy. I find in my work and in my readings that what is happening today is confirming and affirming and giving us that evidence, that science base that mm -hmm. confirms our work as Gestalt therapists. Mm -hmm. And it's important for us to know that something of that science, to understand and be able to integrate it into our work. And I think as we do that, our integrative processes are going to be even more exciting and confirmed and more recognized in the field. Mm -hmm. And can we be a good gestalt therapy uh, using this uh, knowledge soul? Oh, even more effective. Mm. It, it, it's, for instance, when now there's such a wonderful research out in terms of emotions and emotional development, looking at even polyvagal theory, Jacques Pangsep's work in affective neuroscience, even looking at, say, for instance, something like um, uh, Dan Siegel's work uh, on presence and awareness and um, mindfulness. All of these things are concepts that Gestalt therapists have been using for years. Mm -hmm. And yet there's something in what they're presenting that we can incorporate that brings our theory, our language, our thinking into the contemporary world that we're working in today and teaching today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, many young people are coming out of colleges and training programs <clears throat> that are talking about today's neuroscience. Mm -hmm. And we want to be able to speak to that as Gestalt therapists as well. It, can we do um, some work with children, adults too, using this knowledge? So, Right. I mean, one of the things I really appreciate that Dan Siegel says is that what we're doing, the research they're doing in but not only neuroscience, but in um, uh, interpersonal neurobiology, for instance, it is in of itself is not a theory of psychotherapy. Mm. Gestalt is a unifying theory of that incorporates a, a sense of a, you know, a theory of mind, a theory of change, a theory of growth and development. And so what Siegel is saying, uh, Dan Siegel, whom I think you are well aware of here in, yeah. in Brazil. Anyway, he uh, you know, says interpersonal neurobiology is not intended to be a theory of psychotherapy, but it, we're discovering those principles that inform what good therapy is about. And guess what? Mm. It's all the principles that we're using in Gestalt therapy and have been, Perfect. you know, since the 1950s, you mm -hmm. know, or and even earlier. So I think it's important for us to, it empowers us clinically, mm -hmm. it uh, allows us to speak in an audience, to speak and work 
in our work much more effectively. Mm -hmm. I think everyone needs to know more about that. I think so. Well, it's 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 what's in the in our field and informing our field in terms of science and philosophy um, that we need to be aware of. Uh, those origins are were there for Laura and Fritz Perls. They knew the science of their day. They knew the philosophies of their day. Mm -hmm. They synthesized and unified that into a unique psychotherapy that can be adapted and worked with children in the same principles. We can we can support and build on that mm -hmm. that they had, and which is uh, not it's not re it's not um, what I want to say rejecting anything that we've been doing, but it strengthens our work and helps us to understand what we're doing mm -hmm. with today's work. So. I think it's so beautiful that I think it's so powerful. It is powerful, and I think sometimes because we say we're not evidence based, whatever that means. I know what it means, but I mean, it's, you know, whatever, uh, but you don't have, but we have a body of research mm -hmm. that we can draw from that uh, confirms and substantiates and celebrates what we're doing in our work as Gestalt therapists. And part of my message is let's recognize that and learn that and talk together, learn together to be able to integrate that into our work and be even more effective uh, and helping people not only towards neural integration, but just the kind of integration that leads to that aliveness, that sense of joy and being able to live without all the conflicts that so many people try to live with. Mm -hmm. Gestalt therapy is, out of all the approaches that I know something about, the one approach that 100% is confirmed. Yeah, I agree with you. That's absolutely confirmed. And we're, most of us as Gestalt therapists aren't aware of that yeah. and don't have that knowledge. And I hope that what we're going to be doing at the training in um, Brazil in November will give people a base and maybe inspire them to go on. This year or the next year? It's 2019. 19. No, okay. the November of 2019, in, uh, a year from now. In Caxias do Sul. Yes, yes, okay. in Caxias do Sul. Okay. And through the, also, we're kind of a joining venture with the West Coast Institute, which is, uh, I'm from the West Coast Institute, kind mm -hmm. of the director, founder. I, I think and I will go to. But this is, for chill, we're, we're with, uh, my specialization is child. But what we're going to be talking about applies across the board in Gestalt mm -hmm. therapy. Those fundamental principles are the same, whether you're working with a five-year-old or a hundred and five year old. Mm -hmm. That's very nice. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you to talk about that with us. I'm excited yeah. and uh, looking forward to hearing more too about what people are learning mm -hmm. in uh, Brazil because um, it's a, it's a, it's a, like I, what we say in Gestalt, it's a dialogue, yeah. it's a discussion. We have so much to teach each other. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. É, então, espero que vocês tenham gostado desse vídeo e espero todos também em Caxias do Sul, a gente está fazendo, o Saber Psi está fazendo uma parceria com o Centro de Estudos Recriar, então a, a gente também vai estar no, em Caxias do Sul em novembro de 2019 e se você quiser saber mais, é, vê na descrição desse vídeo, tá? Não esquece de curtir e comentar aqui embaixo e também vocês podem olhar no, no site www.saberpsi.com.br uh, para saber mais informações. Até logo. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. <risos>